Welcome to the kitchen at 16 Trump International Hotel and Tower in Chicago. My name is Sarah Kozkowski. I'm the executive pastry chef here. And today I'm going to demo for you a dessert that hopefully you can make in your homes, something that we also do in the restaurant using one of my late summer dessert specialties, plums. We are currently getting beautiful, beautiful plums here in the Midwest from one of our local farmers. So what I've done is taken these, sliced them in half, a little bit of sugar on top. I like to use organic sugar. I believe that alcohol makes everything better. So I'm using a little plum vodka to cook these down today. And I'm just going to pour enough alcohol over the top to coat them. So you want to use a dish that's a little bit deeper. These are what I consider oven roasted plums. So you take the fresh plums. If you don't want to use alcohol, you can go ahead and use just juice. It'll have the same effect in the end. I'm going to roast these in 350 degree oven for anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, just depending on how much you want the liquid to reduce down and how soft your or firm your plums are. So I'm going to pop these in the oven. And while those are roasting, we are going to pair these with one of my other ingredients, which is buckwheat flour. So what I've done is I've made a shortcake using buckwheat and regular flour. Buckwheat's really nice because it has a lot of nutritional value, has a different kind of earthy tone to it that goes very, very nice with the plums. So I've just rolled out my dough to about a half an inch thick, cut it with a round circle cutter. I'm gonna brush them with a little bit of egg wash. And the egg wash that I use is actually just one yolk with a little bit of water or milk. And then again, using the Unrefined sugar, just sprinkling a little bit on top. And then we're going to put these in the same oven. You're going to do these either, you can do them prior, but you want to make sure your plum are really good and roasted because those are going to take a little bit longer. So we're going to bake these at 325, so a little bit lower, get a nice golden color on the top. And these are going to bake anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, just depending on the thickness and the size of the cutter that you've used. So now we're going to plate one up because I have everything done. So I have one of the beautifully golden buckwheat shortcakes. I'm going to slice that right in half. This is kind of a um, nice light summer, I'm sorry, late summer play on the um, strawberry shortcake. And as you can see, the roasted plums, nice jus to them. We're going to put a little bit the fruit right on top, a little bit on the plate. I'm using that beautiful red jus on the plate. And then I've whipped up some creme fraiche and whipped cream. Use about a half a cup of whipped cream to about two tablespoons of creme fraiche. Whip those together. And then instead of using regular white sugar in this, I've used brown sugar to kind of round out the flavor. And we'll just finish by putting the top on. And there you have it, the 16 version of the plum and buckwheat shortcake. So this is currently on our menu here at 16, and hopefully you'll come and try it. Hope to see you soon.